Hey there, everyone. That sexy nerd is back again. And we're doing death battle, everyone. Archie Sonic, I mean, Archie Silver versus Trunks. And I'm like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Remember what I was saying last week about Silver probably being, uh, being murdered by Trunks? Oh, man, did I forget. They said Archie Silver, and the Archie comics are on another freaking level concerning the character. So Trunks might be the one who gets sliced up here, or, or gets killed, whatever. Jeez. Um, damn. I don't want to see my a Dragon Ball Z character get killed, but they said Dragon Ball Heroes? What's, what the hell is that? So, I, I don't know. I'm not really that big into the new dragon ball stuff like the 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 most that i i, I liked about it was the whole broly movie <laughs> but hey i guess we'll find out in this death battle so uh please smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content and also subscribe i can really use it it's a small click for you but it means the world to me so let's just get into the episode Trunks Briefs, Time Cop of the Dragon Ball Xenon. Why is he at Super Silver Saiyan God? Hedgehog, secret freedom fighter from Archie Sonic. Oh While my these God. Two temporal warriors may be well known. Yeah, today, I think Archie's We're looking at their counterparts here. from alternate universes. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Whoa. Can't wait for that fight. Everyone knows Trunks is the coolest Dragon Ball yeah, character. Dragon Don't Ball lie. fighters. He showed up to prove Goku wasn't the only Super Saiyan around. You popped a Shenron in your pants. Yeah, and just a tiny bit. After witnessing his entire world slaughtered by a deadly android duo, mm -hmm. and using his mother's time machine to hop to the past to make things right, Trunks made his triumphant yeah, return to his own time period. But for this version of Trunks, that's where things start to get a bit different. When he was intercepted by this JoJo posing... Harry Chick, the duo, and using his mother's time machine to hop to the past to make things right, Trunks made his triumphant return to his own time period. But for this version of Trunks, that's where things start to get a bit different. When he was intercepted what? by this JoJo posing fairy chick, the Supreme Kai of Time, Kronoa. What? She watches over all of time the in the Dragon this? Ball universe and was forced to arrest Trunks for his alterations to multiple timelines. Welcome to the world of Disney's Loki. Oh, Who? sorry, Dragon Ball Heroes. <laughs> ah, yeah, that is Loki. <laughs> where every Dragon Ball story has its own canon timeline. It's gonna like if some nerd's weird DBZ fan fiction became totally official and it rocks unlike his more well-known counterpart this truck is made to atone for his crimes against time by joining Cronoa's secret enforcers the time patrol i'll give you one try to guess what the time patrol does but hey, even if it wasn't on his to-do list for the week, Trunks is the perfect guy to protect the whole multiverse. He has the usual collection of the Saiyan's key powers, oh, yes, but also Saiyan a magic 3? sword straight from the hero of time. No, not him. Not him. That guy, yeah. Top even left. with yeah. the differing or, timelines, yeah. it's heavily I implied this Trunks has lived all the way through some variation of the Goku Black Saga. Therefore, he that. possesses all powers the original Trunks has, including the ability to assume the golden form of the Super Saiyan. And gathering key from other life forms to make this ultra huge laser sword. However, he has also performed a divine ritual to unlock godly key within himself, oh. taking on the incredible red visage of a Super Saiyan God. He has that. God power That's sure crazy. does come in handy when he's fighting literal demons, like when these weirdos revive Mechikabura, the ruler of the demon realm, causing all sorts of time breaks across the Xenoverse. It's kind of a mess. <laughs> Lucky for us, Jocelyn's even nerdier than Wiz. What useless knowledge have you got for us today? Come on, dude. Knowledge is never useless. Okay, so all the major timelines in Dragon Ball Heroes are recorded in tomes called the Scrolls of Eternity. Anytime somebody hopscotches through time, another one of these scrolls poofs into existence. There's just one teensy little problem. There can only be so many scrolls. Once you hit the limit, surprise, you just triggered Cosmic Armageddon. And that's not even counting all the lesser timelines branching off the main ones Trunks and co. have to keep track of. Wow. Anyway, Trunks and the Time Patrol are some of the only peeps who can time warp without causing these distortions, thanks to unique devices like this armband. 
Though sometimes a patrolman gets ballsy and tries to mess with time themselves, like when Silas tried to rewrite Dragon Ball Heroes, both the world and the game. Oh yeah, did we mention that? The universe is an arcade game in its own universe. Uh, yes and no. In the far off future of the Xenoverse, the Dragon Ball Heroes arcade game essentially serves as another method of time travel, allowing future warriors to visit iconic Ooh. moments in the past. So much for preventing wow. the Ragnarok of the multiverse or whatever. That's where those lesser time branches come in. They don't count, just <laughs> because. These machines also send an avatar of the uh, player back in time, complete with an assortment of collectible cards that can summon facsimiles of well-known really? characters. That's right, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is a rare reverse holo now. Trunks wow. himself is an avid fan, along with his disciples Beat and Note. Fun fact, Beat is a descendant of GT Goku. Trunks even really? funded a dual disc style hero switch huh. so he can use his cards on the go. And you thought Trunks was cool before he went full set to Kaiba. <laughs> Hell, he somehow <laughs> made the great Saiyan man look badass. Yeah. That's how you put polish on disappointment. And I thought that was pretty damn impossible. Yeah. All these powers, gadgets, and cards certainly came in handy against foes like Mechikabura. But they weren't always enough. Even Super Saiyan 4 Vegito had trouble fighting the Demon King, who created really? a black hole to consume every timeline in the multiverse. Super Saiyan Until 4? Trunks broke out the ultimate Deus Ex Machina, the Key Sword. No, not that one. That one, yeah, yeah, yeah. This epic blade isn't just a sword, it can completely shut down an opponent's powers. And thanks to being powered by Pinky over there, it can summon the power of the Eternal Time Labyrinth! Which is just really fun to say. Well, even more fun, it traps targets in the crack of time, a bubble of reality outside all timelines with windows into others. And the key sword was powerful enough to finish off Mechicabra in a single strike. Obviously, this puts Xenotrunks in the upper echelons of Dragon Ball power level. Seriously? Even eclipsing the main timeline's Goku, who could destroy the universe up to 13 times over when he first Oh man, I gotta watch Saiyan that episode. God. The same Goku who could push through hits time skips and could fly from Grand Kai's what? planet to hell in less than a minute. Considering the distance between these two realms as displayed really? in this canon visual model, that would require speeds over 29 quintillion times faster than light. Wow. And that was even before going God, let alone getting training from Whiskey. Boy, made me hungry. Uh, <laughs> Whis and many of Trunks' patrol buddies are just as impressive, like you. Well, the you who battled Demigra in the Xenoverse game when he had control over all time and space, or the you who fought the demon Shamel who threatened the whole multiverse, you uh -huh. are technically a canon character in Dragon Ball. Congrats, I guess. Uh, maybe now you can throw that Kamehameha for real. <laughs> oh, come on, you know you want to. So the bad guys better watch out, because Trunks and his time cops will always be there to stop them and protect time itself. Yeah! It's the year 3437. Oh boy, here we go. The world of Mobius has oh, entered Archie. an era of darkness. This savage future has been ravaged by unending fires, giant monsters, ecological hey, chaos, and general dystopia of all kinds. But standing against this harsh and bleak reality is a lone hero. A young silver. hedgehog with silver quills named uh Silver. So, yeah, comic book silver doesn't sound too different from the one in the video games, right? <laughs> Don't count on it! This is the same comic where all the tales in the multiverse fuse together into this monstrosity. So strap in for a wild ride! With no family to speak of, Silver was taken in by the last elders of his damaged world, including the immortal wizard of chaos, Mammoth Mogul. Silver's goal was to become a Knight of Cronus, a time-traveling warrior who could save the future by changing the past. Silver's base abilities include super strength and super speed, though not quite at the same level as those of Knuckles or Sonic, respectively. Well, that's okay, because he's got his own special weapon, Mind Bullets. And more, a lot more. Silver possesses the rare power of psychokinesis, allowing him to move himself or other objects around with just his thoughts. Oh my god, he Trunks is so screwed. From rocks to skyscrapers to entire mountains. But that's not all he's got up his sleeves. Er, gloves. He always keeps a warp ring on hand, a size-shifting power ring that can teleport him anywhere he likes, even other dimensions. And he can access the insight, resistances to corruption, and power boosts many other Mobians can attain with usual power rings. With all this, he was a shoo-in for school with the Woolly Mammoth Mage. 
Thanks to Mogul, Silver got to learn about two other magic abilities he'd soon master. First up, Chaos Control! The magic Mogul pioneered himself centuries ago. This is the stuff Sonic and friends used to shoot pew pews and turn into super not Saiyans. Then, Mogul discovered another magic, Cronus Control. With this, Silver can move through time with very little effort, made even easier thanks to his Time Stone, a gem that governs time itself. After doing tons of research, Gross, Sylvie, and Mogul discovered Gross. that their shitty lives could all be blamed on just one person. Apparently, one of Sonic's own freedom fighters turned traitor and ruined everything. Oh. What a twist! So Silver set off with a full arsenal to baby Thanos that bastard. Only one problem. The Archie Sonic multiverse is complicated. Oh, no. How complicated barely even cuts it. Jocelyn, oh, how about you crap. take this one? Okay, Archie Sonic's multiverse is similar in scope to something like DC Comics, with multiple extra-dimensional layers like the Chaos Force. There are infinite universes with infinite timelines and infinite characters. Oh, as if Sonic needed more of those. Including the likes of Mega Man, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and Spawn. Wait, what? With what? With Time Stone, Warp Rings, and Cronus Control, no timeline or dimension is out of Silver's reach. Though, like bad sushi mixed with vodka, time hopping this way had some weird side effects, like decoupling silver from time. So if he Why did you have bad sushi with vodka? Man, college must have been weird for you. Causes a real bad butterfly effect? He doesn't get erased like poor Marty McFly. He just has a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Sorry, can you go back to the part about Sonic the Hedgehog meeting a mother Spawn! <laughs> I know, say, right? Silver had a hard time figuring out exactly what he needed to do. I mean, even if it was more straightforward, he's not exactly the sharpest quill on the hog. Good thing Archie Silver is way more badass than he was in the video games. He's fought all sorts of epic baddies across time and space, like Darth Knuckles. Enerjack. <laughs> Who stole the souls of every Mobian in the world. This guy threw a whole continent at our weed-haired hedgehog. Despite fighting a literal dark god with far more power, Silver won the day by turning evil Nux's own attacks right back at him. Not wow. too surprising. Silver's psychic powers on their own are strong enough to teleport instantly, disrupt any technology, close tears in reality, and stop time from being pulled out of him. Also, really? according to the Archie Sonic comic encyclopedia, Silver still experienced some version of the events of the Sonic 06 video game. You know, everyone's favorite. Ew. Including the battle against Solaris, who could eat time, where Silver achieved the invulnerable form of Super Silver. He gets a major boost to match the speed and power of Super Sonic. As Sonic Man, without this Super Sonic, Sonic energy, Man. Sonic was already fast enough to outspeed stop Sonic time. Man? Let me say that again. Time was frozen, and Sonic could still move. What, what the hell? Naturally, Too Super slow. Sonic and Super Silver should both be faster than <laughs> this. But as calculating speed requires a factor of time, and this feat removes time from the equation entirely, this means Super Silver's speed is incalculable. His speed wow. is faster than time itself permits speed to be. That's stupid. That's <laughs> Archie Sonic. <laughs> Hardly a Superform's most impressive feat, though. Bye -bye. There have been a few Wally occasions West. where the Archie Sonic multiverse has been completely demolished and restored, and each one uses the same chaos power Super Silver possesses. The most notable, of course, was when Super Sonic teamed up with Super Mega Man to counter the Super Genesis wave. Which completely rewrote all of time and space! That's Luckily, awesome! Right at ground How did I miss a, a damn comic book where Sonic meets Mega Man? Zero, the Superforms were immune to the Super Genesis Wave's reality warping power, giving what? Sonic and Mega Man the time they needed to save the entire multiverse. What the oh, hell? What about <sighs> yes, even Spawn. Oh, thanks, Satan. <laughs> but even in this thanks, brave Satan. new world, Silver was nothing short of a hero. As long as this dorky hedgehog is around to keep up the good fight, even the darkest timeline will have a silver lining. <laughs> The data through all. All right, the combatants are set. We run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle. Ah. Okay, can't wait to see this. Time travel. Three 
Trunks, I think you're you're at a disadvantage here. Oh boy. Whoa. Super Saiyan, yeah. <laughs> Super Silver. It's no use! Rip on. It's about time they played some heavy metal here. Ah, crap baskets. Come on, give me a good pull. Good enough. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Goku and Pan? <laughs> Alright. Come on, Trunks! Even though I know you're gonna lose. Ah, oh, Super Saiyan God! Whoa! That would have killed anybody else. Keyblade. <laughs> Whoa! I totally forgot about that thing. Did that work? I feel like he can. Ah, yeah. Whoa. That's how Crisis Zone was created. KO! Oh, come on! <laughs> Trunks is way past cooler than furry Kyle Reese. It is hard to imagine Trunks losing to anyone. However, Silver ironically had just about everything he needed to put the half Saiyan six feet under. Seriously. First up, time travel wasn't much of a factor, since they were both pretty mm -hmm. well versed in it. Either way, Silver's psychokinesis could disrupt tech like the hero switch and the time travel armband, leaving Trunks without his gadgets and primary method of hopping through time. Let's be frank, in base form, Silver never stood a chance at matching Trunks with his own power. Even in his super form, it's quite Questionable whether or not Super Silver had the physical ability to match Super Saiyan Trunks. No. In short, it's practically impossible to lock down exact numbers and limits for their power. Didn't level. Knuckles no, wasn't Trump Knuckles stronger than him though? Take it a win if he found an opening. But Silver's Dark psychic Knuckles. powers have worked around similar disadvantages before. Interjack was way stronger than yeah. him. Could match the power of Super Sonic and conquered all of Mobius. But oh. Silver could consistently Una reverse card his attacks yeah. back at him, <laughs> and he wasn't even Super at that time. Trunks was obviously much faster than Goku's trip to hell. He could easily be sextillions or septillions of times faster than light, wow. maybe even more. However, by the very nature of Dragon Ball powers, his speed must have a limit, even if it is impossible to know an exact number given what we've seen. But Archie's super forms have consistently shown incalculable speeds. Really? Sure, Goku broke through hits time skip, but that actually has nothing to do with speed. 
As explained really? by Whis, the effectiveness of time manipulation in the world of Dragon Ball depends on the difference in power level between the caster and oh, the Oh, okay. Such as when Kronoa attempted a time stop on Mira and failed, due to Mira's energy being stronger. Xeno vs. Goku really? has also mentioned how increasing his energy affects space and time around him. In any other matchup, this would be totally buck wild itself. But no, RG super forms just have to break time itself. It's also difficult to put an exact number on Trunks' maximum level of power. The strongest beings in his continuity can affect his entire multiverse, which has infinite timelines plus the crack of time <laughs> outside. In contrast, chaos magic wielded by a super form like Supersonic can rewrite the infinite timelines in Archie Sonic's multiverse, Whoa. plus the extra dimensional realms outside, like the Chaos Force, Pocket Zones, Mega Man's own infinite <laughs> universe, and yes, possibly even a multiverse with Spawn. The scope of Dragon Ball's cosmic scale simply does not compare. Plus, unlike Sonic, Silver spent many years being trained how to use chaos magic by the guy who invented it. Wow. Hell, if Mega Man could rewrite reality just minutes after learning he could even use the chaos emeralds at all, imagine what craziness Silver could pull off. Trunks' best wow. chance was the Key Sword's ability to nullify powers, like it did to Mechikabara. However, the Super Genesis Wave explicitly could not rewrite the presence of Supersonic. Oh, that's a Mega cool Man, shot. Despite being able to rewrite even the extra dimensional chaos force from whence it came, it's likely make that as my Super background. Form could resist the Key Sword, at least for a time. Ultimately, while there are many versions of this battle where Trunks can win, Silver's superior abilities close out a victory more often than not. Right. To make things brief, Silver was just hogging the spotlight. <laughs> the winner is Silver the Hedgehog. Oh man, I can't wait to see what they do next. <sighs> oh no! No! <laughs> Oh, SpongeBob's gonna win that. Sorry, SpongeBob's totally gonna win that. <laughs> SpongeBob versus Aquaman. Come on, he just throws Gary right at at Aquaman's face, and he'll just be like, "Go right and defeat it." <laughs> It'll be like that Hercule versus um Ken from Street Fighter. <laughs> Not Ken. I don't remember his name. Uh, whatever the the guy wears the pink gi. <laughs> oh man, that was a good fight, man. That was better than I thought it was gonna be. Wow, I am. I, I kind of knew as soon as they said Archie Comics, like they give people from the DC universe a run for their money. Archie Sonic almost beat. I mean, stood up again. Stood up to uh, Wally West Flash. Wally West Flash from the original. Like he's the one who surpassed Barry Allen. Woo! I love DC. Um, yeah, so that that was an amazing fight. I can't wait to see the next episode. It's going to be funny as hell. Hopefully they do it in animation to SpongeBob and they just have the old as Aquaman just swimming around. If they're doing actual serious DC Aquaman, though, I'm poor SpongeBob, but who knows? Maybe he can't even be heard because there's a part in SpongeBob where somebody tries to punch spongebob in the face and it just goes right through him and like i'm some sort of spongy material <laughs> oh i love that episode so uh let's I, I love classic spongebob but remember please smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content and subscribe because remember it's maybe a small click for you but it's a, an amazing help for me especially if you want to see more of my content and i'll see you all in the next video